The USC Trojans are the next ones up. Clay Helton, of course, back again. 5-1 and one last year. Lost in the Pac-12 title game, and they opted not to play in a bowl game. Went 8-5 eight, uh, eight and five the year before that. 8.5 is the win total here. It is juiced to minus 110 to go over, minus 120 to go under. Um, SP Plus has got them going 10-2. and two. FBI has got them going 9-3. and three. They are first uh, as far as odds in the division, plus 135 to win this division, make it to the conference championship game. They were number three to actually win the conference, plus 350, uh, which is kind of surprising. You, you, yeah. I mean, that's that's long odds. Like, you know, plus 350. Uh, good payout if it hits. Helton's Trojans, uh, they have won 10 of their last 13 games, and they finished number 13 in SP Plus last year, even with quarterback uh, Keaton Slovis, you know, battling through injury and whatnot. Slovis actually kind of regressed last year, which is not something that you want to see, but it's a, a bit of a sophomore slump kind of thing. No. So, uh, you know, I'm curious if Slovis can bounce back. Um, he had a bit of an injury. He was not super healthy. Uh, they've got wide receiver Drake London. Uh, I mean, just explosive transfers coming in. Like It, it gives USC plenty of offensive weapons here. Uh, D.C., Todd Orlando, like they improved the defense in his first season. In a COVID season, in a small sample size, only six games, but improved it from 60th in efficiency to 29th in efficiency last year. Now, they lose a ton of experience in the secondary, but six of the front seven are actually returning. That should help things. I... You know, I, I like USC. I think that this team is super talented in this division. I've, I've got them going over the eight and a half here. Yeah, they're two. Nine and three, baby. We're I, agreeing I on everything in this yeah, conference. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But I think this is a nine and three football team. I think I can pinpoint the losses. Um, Do you think USC fans will be happy with nine and three? I, I think when they, when they lose to UCLA now. <laughs> If they lose to Notre Dame and UCLA, they're and probably Arizona not going to be happy. Those are, my, those are my losses. Yeah, I can, oh, buy, my losses. I can buy that. I can buy that. Mm. All right, so I've, I've got them going 9-3 and three as well. Uh, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.